Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie and we are actually going to dive right into goal setting and how we should structure our day or really just mindset to get you to your goals that you want to accomplish this next year. So as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? I am tuning in from my sister's closet bathroom. I'm hiding back here because the house is loud and I'm still in Ohio at my sister's house. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I am I have been completely off track. Not off track in eating, just in my own personal schedule. So for those of you who are brand new, welcome to the Keto Mom page. For those who are not, welcome back. Um, and I'll tell you this. This last week, um, I'm a pretty routine person. Anybody else? Like I... I don't need a crazy routine, but I, I do like a routine. So when I get up in the morning, I work out. I, well, I, I get up, I drink my water, I shake up my ketones, I read, I work out. Like I have a certain way I do my day because if I do that, then I feel like my day is set up for success, right? And so <clears throat> I don't know about you, but after Christmas and before the new year, I feel like it's like a week of hey, I don't know what we're doing here because a lot of people want to wait till the new year. There's just like this week of like, what do we do with this random week? Anyway, so we're at my sister's house in Ohio and I haven't done 100% of my routine. Therefore, I like I didn't get up. Well, I did get up this morning. Anyways, we've been going to cycling class. I've been eating like probably 95% good. There's some treats that have snuck in there for sure. I'm not a huge sweets person, but I am, I, I've got goals. I've been working on my mindset. I've been going, what do I really want next year? So as you're here, most of you want to work on your physical, right? Like how I look and how I feel. So yesterday we did a live and it's backwards. I'm sorry. The video won't let me turn it around again, but we worked on goals and I gave you, I think it was nine steps to achieving your goals. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch it from yesterday. I think it was yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday afternoon. So I'm continuing to go through this book again. It says goals by Zig Ziglar. It's an incredible book, short read, but I want to give you some aspects of heat. He says, here's what your day could look like day to day. Here's like a day by day formula. And just so you know, as we go through books in this next year, and as we read and we work on our mindset, part of just continuously reading or listening to podcasts is because it renews your mind in the morning, right? Um, but I also want you to know, you could read one book this entire year. And if you're reading that book over and over again, and you're internalizing it, that's completely fine too. Here's the deal. Uh, our CEO actually said this. Uh, he was talking to a whole bunch of us leaders and he was like, oftentimes people read and it's incredible, but he goes, make sure you're putting into action what you're reading. If your goal is to read a book a month, then you better at least put one thing you're learning into action, right? So I go through lots of books, but usually the books that I'm reading every single day with you and to you and we're working through books together as far as like encouragement and accountability and your mindset to help you on your goal this entire year. I don't care if you pick one book and just read it and you tune in here every single day. The goal should always be when I'm learning from somebody, I'm going to take what I've learned and I'm going to put it into action. So learning, you need to learn, you need to do, and you need to teach. What does that look like? I don't do, do any of you pick a word of the year? I promise you I'm going to go through this in a second. So our family for probably 10 years, my husband and I, and then our kids do it. We pick a word for the year, this next year. And so I've been praying about it and just thinking like, what is my word going to be this year? And it's a little different. Um, <clears throat> one of my girls is picking courage. Actually, I think two of the girls are. Uh, one is picking joy. And so, oh, my sisters, listen, I know they're all downstairs and it's loud. And that I actually wouldn't teach you anything if my sisters were on here. We would just laugh. If you follow my stories, I have some, I have an incredible family. My stories are my family. And so we're with all of my family, all of my siblings and my parents and all the cousins. There's 14 cousins and it's just fun. Anyways, <clears throat> what was I saying? 
I want you, so oh, your word, who, who picks the word of the year? So have, have any of you done this? It's, it's pretty cool. So think about like your next year in 2022, if you had to put one word to it, one word, what would be something that would kind of tie to your goals that you want to go? That's it. It kind of anchors you into the year, right? So, uh, I had intentional. It was last year, the year before that it was focus. Um, I don't remember all of the years, but like, it's just one word. And then my goals have worked around that. My word this year is a little different. Uh, as I was praying about it, I kept hearing learn, do, teach, learn, do, teach. And I was like, okay, I, I love that phrase. I love to learn something. I need to make sure I do it and I want to teach it. But I really have been focusing on not talking as much and listening. And then prior to all of that, I've been working on just being mindful and praying. And so I kind of have an, a whole phrase for this next year. It's uh, pray about everything be still and listen. And then as I'm doing those two things, praying and listening after I, after I hear it, I need to learn it, study, do it, and then teach it. So mine's different than it's ever been before. But my challenge to you is this, as you're thinking about your goals and where you want to go and the things you want to achieve, what would be one word for this next year? You can make a necklace out of it. You could put it on your uh, mirror, you could write, you could just put it somewhere. So it anchors what you're focused on. It's actually really powerful. I would love to know if you have a word, what did you choose below or think about it? And we'll talk about it some more. So as we're going through Zig Ziglar's book called goals, uh, I'm not shaking up ketones this afternoon. Cause I already drank one. I normally shake up bump in the afternoon. I am going to talk about something called the core four challenge. That's going to start in January in just a second. And basically the core four challenge is going to be helping you commit to, uh, I posted it earlier. It's like four days, four weeks. There's some incredible prizes. It's going to go along with drinking ketones, moving your body. There's four things. It's drinking ketones, moving your body, working on your food, which I'll help you with, and then sharing. And so if you do this core four challenge with me and you do it throughout the year, every four weeks, you will submit, uh, pictures and measurements, um, The only, you don't have to buy, like our company is going to be having, has anybody ever ordered pre-made meals? Like uh, there's some companies that you can get, you know, meals delivered to your home. So part of what we just um, started doing is we're going to have keto low carb meals that can be delivered to your home. I actually am trying them out. They're going to be, our company just got into it. So all I know is we have the first set of meals coming to our home in January. I'm going to try them, give my input. We're going to let anybody else clearly grab them later on. But the core four challenge that we're doing is going to be based on me helping you with your food, right? It's your commitment, me helping you with your food, drinking ketones, moving your body, and then sharing. And all of this is pretty incredible. And then every four weeks, I think they base it on a quarter. So I think it's like in February and then in April, and then they're going to, you can submit a before and better picture. You can submit your measurements and then they're going to, we're going to have a ton of drawings, whether you win free ketones, there's actually an incredible $10,000. Like it's going to be awesome. Our company is doing it. We all are just coaching anybody who wants to join us. And if you have big goals and you have like something that you can go after any prize, I don't know if you like me love prizes, but I love to win. And so if I'm going to go after a goal and somebody's going to give me like a water, I don't even care if it's a water bottle. I'm like, I'm in, what do I have to do? And so all I want you to know is if you want more information on the core four, just post core four below it's C O R E four core four. Uh, and I'm going to be sharing more of my stories later today. It's starting in January. It's really just letting me know that you want, that you've got goals, right? And then it's not, you don't have to buy the meals. That's something that will come later on. You can decide if you want to, but it's going to be me helping you on your journey, you submitting your information, and then they'll be giving away prizes. So it's super cool. I'm super excited about that. So for those who've been asking about my mom fuel, uh, this will be a part of the core four. We have an incredible right now. It's a really cool deal. It's a challenge kit. It's kind of like a Kickstarter kit. It has our challenge box, which is 10 caffeine, 10 caffeine free, five different flavors. We have an electrolytes that goes with it. We have one of our fasting kits, a reboot. We have a cool, awesome deal going on right now that you can grab 
the ketones, electrolytes, and a fasting kit that you can do with us in January. So if you are serious, ketones are a tool, right? They help you with your appetite and your craving control. I've been drinking them for six years. They help you with your energy and your focus. If you want to know about the little kit that's on sale that has the ketones, the electrolytes, and the fasts, uh, what should we post below? Just post ketones below, and I'm gonna, I'll message you. And, and, and I just want to know your goals. So I'll show you what we have. We'll chat about your goals. I'll give you some food ideas. So post ketones in the comments, and we're going to chat about the fun little challenge kit that we have that you can join us with. All right. So like any book that we've read, if you continue to read books about goals and your mindset, you're going to realize that all of the authors have basically all of the same information and the same content, different stories, right? Uh, wrapped up a little differently, but the reason that people have success is because they follow a formula. They follow what other people have done. And so whether you're reading the book, The Miracle Morning by, by Hal Elrod or Atomic Habits by James Clear, or this goal book by Zig Ziglar, they all have a formula. They all do basically the same thing. They say, own your morning, own your day, right? Discipline, it's not easy, but it's simple. If you follow the simple process, you will get to where you wanna go. And so I wanted to give you an example of what he talked about in this next chapter. He says, day by day formula. He says, one person with a commitment is worth more than 100 who are just interested. People to me that are just interested don't actually take action. They watch and learn and watch and learn and gather all the information, but they don't do anything, right? Be the person that's committed to taking action. People who make commitments to reach their goals are the ones who are going to reach them. So I posted 10 different words that he said you need to have in your mindset as you're going into this new year. Number one is commitment. Are you committed to yourself? When you have a solid base with a solid commitment and a solid objective, when you have your goals written out, you're focused, and you tell yourself, I am committed to myself to doing these things to help my be a better whatever. I want this for my family, for my spouse, for my work, for my kids, right? You have a much better chance of reaching your goals. So number one, he says, is commitment. I'm not going to read the stories, uh, but he says, Friends, you must commit yourself to your goals if you expect to reach them. If you're not committed, if you're like, oh, I would like to, I would like to see that. Oh, I wish, I wish that was going to be me. Oh, you're so lucky someday. No, no. Like, I, I want you to pick your word of the year. I want you to tell yourself, I am, what? Oh, I am, I'm not going potty. I'm talking on a live. I'm in my sister's bathroom. Did you want to use your bathroom? Did you want, Brad, do you want to use your bathroom? I'll move. No. I'm just talking to my brother-in-law. No, you're good. Do you have to go potty? No, you're good. Okay, I'm just on a live. You can come in. No, you're I'm just good. talking just to people. I just want to make sure nobody was. No, I'm dressed. Yes, okay. <laughs> you guys. Yes, that is a thing. There's lots of people and lots of doors. You can walk in. My Yes, we have a funny story, but I don't need to tell her. She's, they're fine. What would you like? I love it. Oh, we're, we're having a meltdown. Do you want to come and show me? No, it actually is really cute. It's pink. It comes out. Okay, can you go tell her to put some there? Oh, okay. I'll talk about it in just a second. I'll be right out. We're coloring hair. Pink. It's not working. It actually looks really pretty. <clears throat> okay, I'll... I'll, I'll got to get focused. I'll be right out. I love you. I'll be right out. <sighs> got tears. Hey, maybe shut the door. Shut the door. <sighs> got tears and pink hair and she doesn't like it. All right. Are you committed? Are you committed to yourself? All right. Number two was accountability. Uh, we're going to actually talk about who you share your goals with in a little bit. But accountability is super important. And listen, whether if it's not somebody in your home, think about who would be somebody that could give you some support and guidance. It could be a coworker, a spouse, a child, a friend, right? And if it's nobody within your, like, people around you, that's why we have these groups. That's why we have social media, right? I'll tell people, listen, show up. If 
the people that get, and I'm not saying this has to do with me, right? I have an incredible team that we have been blessed with over the last six and a half years. And I help a lot of people with business. And I say, listen, I'll commit to you if you commit to me. Like I'll commit as much to you as you commit to me. So the people that get my attention in our business are the ones that message me every day. And they'll say, hey, Stephanie, what do you think about this? Hey, what about this? And so it's the same year. Like you have to do the work of reaching out to whoever that is. That's your accountability to go, here's where I'm at. Here's what I did today. I just want to let you know my day was great or I maybe slipped up, but I'm back on track tomorrow. It's your responsibility to make the ask and reach out, right? Will you be my accountability partner? Can I message you what I'm eating today? Hey, here's where, like, you you have to make the ask. I think we're so afraid that people are going to turn us down and they won't. Like, and I will do it. You can message me every day and send me what you eat. I'll look it over and go, yes, no, awesome, good job. How are you feeling? So accountability is super important. Okay, number three, a solid foundation. If you're going to reach your goals, you have to start with a solid foundation, which is comprised of honesty, character, integrity, loyalty, trust, love, faith, and more trust. He says this, just by looking at the kind of foundation that you have is going to be key. Uh, He says, tell you this, okay, if you have a solid foundation to build on, the odds are dramatically going to increase that you will reach your goals. Foundation meaning, uh, you build a successful career or go after your goals and reach success in your goals. If you are honest, you have good character, you have integrity, and you have motivation. And so I feel like sometimes we talked about goal setting yesterday. We've got these huge lofty goals, right? But we need a solid foundation. And your solid foundation could be, uh, I'm going to commit to myself. I'm going to be committed to my family. I'm going to help. You know, a lot of you have children that you're working on getting healthy. Uh, that's a part of your character, right? I'm going to be open and honest. I'm not going to throw a fit if I go to a birthday party and there's not a, a cake that I can eat. Like a solid foundation. And that might mean you're not going to dive into all of the goals 100% running full force as soon as January 1st hits. We're going to talk about the next one when a couple of baby steps, right? So solid foundation is key. Number four is vocabulary. This is hands down. I am super passionate about this topic. Your words. I just said, pick a word for the year. Words are powerful. Your words are life and death over yourself and every other, every other person. Uh, I have, ne- there's nothing that I get more irritated with when I hear people putting other people down, using their words in a negative aspect towards themselves or other people Uh, Even things like, you could never do that. Oh, it will always be that way. And I'm like, listen, if you're not going to say something that's building somebody up, that's helpful to yourself or others, like even the words that you speak to yourself, I will call you on it. I mean, we all, my whole family does that. We'll hear something and I'll be like, I reject that. That that wasn't good. Do you want to retry that? Nope. I reject that one too. Let's rephrase that. Oh yes, that's better. Your words are powerful, and that's going to be key even in going to into your goals. Super important. All right, number five. Number five. Oh, the small steps. Well, he says this. If you want to reach your goals, you need to change your vocabulary from negative to positive. Super important. Next one, five, uh, small baby bites. If you want to reach your goals, divide the journey into small bites. This isn't like I've got to clear out my cupboard and everything is going to be keto on January 1st. This is a I'm going to work. I'm going to have my goals there and I'm going to work at them one bite at a time. He says, friends, if you have to, oh, I like this. This is good. If you have to wait for your aunt to move out or your spouse to get on the day shift or you, if you're waiting for the primaries to end, the new senator to be elected, the the interest rate to drop or inflation to slow down, the new advertising campaign to get started, the new model to come out. If you are one, if you are the one waiting on change out there before making any decisions internally or taking any action, you are wasting valuable time. The time is to start right now. That's why I started talking about goals now. There's no reason to wait till January. So what do you want? Have you been writing your list down? That was yesterday's action step. Did you do it? Did you take all of the things that you want to want to do? B, have, write them down. And then we slowly eliminated some things you could focus on anywhere I would say 10, but I'm not the expert. They would say four things this year that you're going to be solidly solidly focused on. What is it? 
Uh, number six is shape up. <laughs> I do like this. If you want to reach your goals, you need to shape up. There's been numerous studies that confirm that there is a definite correlation among the most successful people in the United States between the physical and the mental and the spiritual. And people who take care of themselves physically go further because they feel good. So there's three aspects, right? Physically, spiritually, mentally. All of them play a key part in you reaching your goals. If you have a negative mindset, guess what? You think you're physically going to feel good? Mentally going to feel good? Emotionally going to feel good? No. We need to shape up physically, shape up mentally, and shape up spiritually in order for us, these all to be tied together. He says it isn't easy, but when you're tough on yourself and you're committed to yourself, life is going to be infinitely easier later on down the road. You're going to have to show, hold yourself accountable as well. Committed. Or maybe that should be everybody's word. Are you committed to yourself? Commitment. I'm just giving you words. Okay, I've got two more. Oh, I'm sorry, three more. Number seven is handling disappointments. And here's, I love this topic too. It's called EQ. Where is your EQ at? Is this making sense? I wrote them down in the header of the video so you could kind of go back and look at them. It's not what happens to us. It's how you handle what happens to us that makes a difference. It's called your EQ. You have your IQ, how smart you are, your EQ, your emotional intelligence, your AQ, how adaptable. Some people say SQ, your spirituality, your mindset, right? So I want you to think about that as you go throughout your, well, the rest of this week. This is something that is so important in any area of your life and you teach your kids and everybody else around you. You need to be able to, when anything comes up and circumstances happen and change happen and you might not be where you are, EQ, check your emotions. You don't have to answer that person right away or make a decision right away. You need to respond when you can control yourself instead of react and grab the donut and then get frustrated for the rest of the day. Like this is huge. I'm gonna say it one more time because this is as powerful as mindset. This is as powerful as reading. My hand, I mean, there's three things that I'm passionate about. Well, lots, but like in the aspect of your overall awareness of your life, your mindset, the power of your words and what you're speaking over yourself and how well you can handle your emotions, your EQ. If you can get these three things in check, you are going to find yourself a completely different person next year, just in the person that you are joyful, more peaceful, uh, probably more decision-making. You're going to find yourself taking action because you've got your mindset under control. You're not speaking negativity. You're not planting seeds of doubt and you can handle your emotions and respond when necessary and not react out of emotions. So it's not what happens to you. It is how we handle what happens to us that makes a difference. It is so important. All right. Number eight, discipline. I think it's self-explanatory. Uh, discipline yourself to get in shape is in any aspect of your life, in any area. You're going to need discipline. It's not easy. It's simple, right? It's following the miracle morning. It's getting up in the morning without hitting your snooze button. Five, four, three, two, one. It is drinking your water and moving your body and doing the best you can with your food and working on your mindset and being okay with saying no to some people and yes to the best yes this year. All right? Number nine is direction. I love how he said this. Change your direction to reach your objective, but don't change your decision to get there. If things aren't working later on, redirect things. You're not going to change your decision of what you're going after. Sometimes you just need to work around some barricades and blocks and push down doors and windows. You're not going to give up. You're just going to step back for a second and look at the direction that you're going to see if there's different ways to get there. And that's why you read. You've got coaches, mentors, accountability to go, hey, this is what I've been doing. What do you think? Should I redirect and do something different? Just a thought. Last one is sharing your goals. And so this is, this is the last one. I know I gave you a lot, but I want you to just be mindful of this. He said, there's two different types of goals. There's a going up goal and there is a, a give up goal. He says, when you have going up goals, like let's say that you want to build your business to a certain level. Like if you want to grow yourself, like I want to reach this much in sales if you're into sales, or I want to achieve this, or I want to, there's certain goals that people won't support you in because it makes them seem less than. He says, you need to be very specific on who you share your go up goals with, okay? But when you're doing give up goals, like I'm gonna give up smoking or drinking or throwing a fit or overeating, 
your give up goals you share publicly because it helps hold you accountable as well. Hey, everybody, this year I'm going to stop smoking or I'm not going to, I'm going to stop drinking or I'm going to stop overeating or I'm going, whatever. Those you can tell to everybody because then you've got eyes watching you to see how long you last or you're going to easily have people go, I thought you had goals this year, right? How many times have you maybe grabbed something to eat? And they're like, I thought you weren't eating that. People love to call people on their stuff, right? But your go up goals can, is different. You need to find a couple people that you're like, I really have big goals for my family. I really have big goals for our finances or getting out of debt. It's important that you've got one or two people, not everybody, because not everybody supports you in that. And not everybody has the right frame of mind to believe that you can do it. Super important. So those were the 10 things I wanted to talk about. There was more. I just want you to be aware. And I want you to, like we just talked about, awareness, right? Mindset, work, watching your words, and having a high level of EQ to be able to go through this year and not let your emotions control you, but you're in control. I'm committed to this goal. I don't know how to hit this, but I'm going to watch people online. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do what I learn, right? Super important. So what are some action steps you could take? Yesterday, I said, make a list of things you want to achieve this year. If you have not done that, do it. Then all you do is write, why do you want to achieve them after each goal? If you can't figure out the why, take it off the list. Pick four things you want to focus on this year and make sure it's not all physical. You don't want all of your goals to be on one aspect of your life because you have a family, maybe, right? You've got emotions, you've got your physical and financial and your health and your mindset. Like you can't have all goals in one area of your life. And then you're going to be committed. You're going to tell a couple people and you, you need to commit to yourself. So make a list, eliminate some on the list for later, pick a word for the year, and then tell somebody about it. So with all of that, that was a lot. Um, I'm always here to encourage you. So the people that are in my inbox, get my attention. And again, I'm not saying me, you just get guidance and help and support. So and that's with any area of my life. I tell our friends the same thing, our family, like I, I am here to help you and guide you and support you. But part of it is on you too. I can't come chasing you or your coach can't come chasing you or your mom or your sister, or your best friend. It's not their responsibility to chase you. Not even your spouse. You've got to commit to yourself and then tell them and then keep telling them it's accountability. It's not mine. It's yours. And then I'm here to help you on your journey. And so again, uh, the tool that I use and we're diving into the core four challenge. Let me know if you want more information on the core four challenge for this next year. It's going to be great. And then post ketones in the comments. If you want to know more about why I drink them, the options that you can grab them. It's a pretty cool kit to get started. So that's all I have. I hope you guys have an incredible day. I'm always here to help and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.